Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over um, basically the percentages of what characters are like every year. Because as we know, every year they release characters. Not only like 26 a year, but 2015 is when they first started the game, so you see a lot more on screen than normal. But you know, we all know that some years are better than others. But like, how? But like, what percentages? And obviously, it's my opinion with what I consider beyond God, dear God, dear all that stuff. So basically, just to make it smaller, I have five categories. Beyond God tier. Oh, sorry, I have a lot of going off. I got Beyond God tier, God tier, High Demigod, Low Demigod, and Trash. So, for 2015, the only Beyond God tier character was Colossus, which makes it a oh, 1.92% out of, like, however many this is. I don't know how many. There, there's a lot of them. Then for God tier, we got Luke Cage, Magic, Star Lord, Venom. They're all just pretty good in their own way. High Demigod, Electro, Gamora, Hawkeye, Ronin, Scarlet Witch, Spider Gwen, Thor, Wolverine. Low Demigod tier, Black Panther. Basically, the way I put them in the low demigod tier over trash is like, okay, let me just specify a little bit more. Trash is trash. Low demigod tier is, are characters that can do decent damage. High demigod tiers are good damage and have some sort of decent utility. God tier is pretty good utility, pretty good damage. And beyond god tier is crazy damage, really good utility. So, Colossus, as we know, bleed immune, incinerate immune, cold snap immune, um, crazy damage. He has armor up, so no havoc. So, yep. Loot cage. He can tank special threes if he's awakened. He can do crazy damage and bleed immune also. Magic, you can just power lock them in a corner. Star Lord, just crazy damage build up. Venom, you can nullify buffs. You can counter uh, Spider Verse Evade. So yeah, the only, the, these are the only five really like good things that came out of 2015. Hi, Demigod Tier, we got Electro, Gamora, Hawkeye, Ronin, Scarlet Witch, Spider Gwen, Thor, Wolverine. Low demo got here, we got all these trash cans, I'm not gonna really read them out. And then trash, we have a lot of trash from 2015. So overall, 2015 was not a good year for this game, character-wise. And also another thing to keep in mind is back then Venom and Colossus were not God or Beyond God tier, so it's probably even worse. Um But Scarlet Witch and Thor were beyond God tier, so yeah, I don't know. I guess it balances out. But if you wanted to open a crystal of just um five stars or six stars from just from 2015 Basically, you have like around a 25% chance to get signed got high demigod tier or higher. So this year, to get low demigod or trash is pretty bad. And yeah, you don't really want that. And that's like a 75% chance. So actually, it's exactly a 20 75% chance. So yeah, now we go to 2016. We scroll down. And now this is when years start going 26 champions at a time. So, you know, I thought, I, I thought it'd be... 24 because 12 months but apparently in the last few years they've released three champions in a few months i don't know why but that's a thing so 2016 we got some crazy beyond god tiers hyperion crazy character quake never have to search the opponent we got god tier dr voodoo and she hulk i know she hulk some people are gonna cry and say he's beyond god she's beyond god tier, but she's just not she's just not straight up um hi demigod tier. we got ghost rider old man logan red hulk x23 and then low demigod and trash, we had a lot of that in this year, 2016 also, so. This year, you have a little bit of a better chance to get high demigod tier or higher, but not really by a lot. Um, the trash is like a 40% chance, low demigod tier is like a 30% on top of it, so it's like, yeah, it's just not the best. You go for like around a 30% chance for uh, something decent, so yeah, 2016, not the best year either, but still a better upgrade than last year, so. Now we go to 2017, and this is when the years actually become decent. So, 2017, um, for the Beyond God tiers, we got Archangel and Blade, because those two are insane. Archangel is crazy. If it can bleed and poison, you can you just shut him down, shut the entire character down. I made a video on the new Mercy Saber to the next 7. He's like one of the few characters who can actually one-shot the fight. Then Blade, he's just crazy for all dimensional characters or mystic or villain champs. Um, infinite regen, so it's just a really sick character. God tier, we got Doc Ock, Gwenpool, Iceman, Medusa, Morningstar, Stark, Spider-Man. Um, high demigod tier, we got Angela, Carnage, Hela, Nebula, Taskmaster, because they can do some pretty good damage and got decent utility. Low demigod tier and trash, there's a lot of, but whatever, we don't go to read it. But this is the first year that, you know, if you were to open a crystal for this year, they have a pretty much a 50% chance to get something high demigod tier or higher. So it's like a coin flip. So this year, very good, a lot less of the trash. It's exactly 50% chance to get at least something decent. So yeah, 2017 was a good year.
Um, now going to 2018, which was the best year, arguably. Um, so this year has more Beyond God tiers than anything else, which is actually crazy to say out loud. Um, we got Aegon, amazing for everything, basically. Captain America Infinity War, amazing utility, perfect block, crazy damage. Corvus, crazy damage, crazy utility. Domino, she just knocks people over, basically. Ghost, best champion in the game. Omega Red, crazy mutant who just kills everything so quickly. Um, Symbiote Supreme, just destroys cosmic fights and just eats buffs and crazy for a lot of bosses in X6. Then Void, just utility god, and once again, just reverse healing. If it heals and it can be reversed, um, he kills it. And God tier, we got Darkhawk, Double Moon Robot, Emma Frost, can she be immune to everything basically, in a diamond form. Um, Night Thrasher, if you build him correctly and rank him up, he's actually really good. You've seen KD1's videos on him. Um, he's pretty sick if you like play him right. Um, Proxima Midnight, um, if you can get to the special three and you can do the charges, basically nothing survives unless they have like a damage cap or sign. Sabretooth, um, pretty good character when you get built up to pair with Omega, and yeah, he's just pretty good on his own. Once you like do food fights, he gets a lot of fury, so it's hitting like a truck. Sentinel, pretty good double immune robot, but in the duck, you can build him to be an absolute tank. Hi, Demigod, too. We got Hulk Ragnarok, Iron Man Infinity War, Killmonger, Massacre Wasp. Low Demigod, we only got Bishop Heimdall, Red Skull Champion. The only reason um, Red Skull is not trash is because he has armor, and that's good for um, Havoc. If you have an armor, you're automatically not trash to you. And then there's only two trash characters of 2018, like Complete Trash, or Corgan Sentry, like really just had no uses in the game. So this is like the first year that like you have basically over a 75% chance from all the characters in 2018 to get signed. Pretty good, pretty good though to help your account. So... 2018 was one of the best years for this game, um, making character-wise. Um, so yeah, good job, 2018. The only year to have more Beyond God tiers than everything else. But once again, this list is like my opinion. So, I mean, maybe for you, Korg isn't Beyond God tier, but you know, you do you, man. This is just my list. You don't have to fucking cut my nuts off in the comment section and crucify me. So yeah, now going to 2019. And 2019 was last year, and... Um, we got more Beyond God tiers than anyone else, I just realized. Again, too, 2019 to 2018, staying on the same trend of having God tier, or like, lots of D God and Beyond God tier champions. We got Captain Marvel movie, absolute tank. You can just in binary, she just knocks people over. Doctor Doom, utility God, absolute beast. Amazing for Abyss. Guillotine 2099, even though she got kind of screwed in the Abyss, she still has crazy utility, power drain, um, regen, double immunities, um... She has like a like a miss feature if she gets hit, um, arc overload basically if she is about to die, um, crazy damage, armor up so she kind of is havoc, just overall crazy character, um, human torch, just if it's mystic it dies basically, if it heals it gets reversed, it's dead, crazy good for the abyss, um, one of the four horsemen, Nick Fury, another one of the horsemen. Um, he just crazy, you can go on block bowl, crazy, if it bleeds it dies, basically is the story for Nick Fury, he can counter miss, can, um, go on blockable, which is very fun, obviously, I just realized that 2019 gave us three of the four horsemen, so that's cool for the abyss, Stealth Suit Spider-Man, um, people might say he's god tier, but for me, I, I think he's easily beyond god tier, just because of the amount of annoying, unstoppable stuff in this game, and he, I would say he probably would be god tier if there wasn't for one fight, and that one fight is the Luke Cage, and the Abyss of the Luke Cage, he it makes that fight so much easier than it would if you didn't have him. So, just for that fight alone, I think he easily deserves Beyond God tier. He's crazy damage also. Um, so, yeah. Thing is a human tank, basically. Um, can't be nullified um, at all. Can't be armor broken. Um, what else can he not? It can't be shocked. Can't be bled. Um... What else is there? He does crazy damage. There's a whole bunch of other stuff I can't think of, but things pretty good. Then we got Warlock, basically utility god. If it heals, it gets countered, and it's passive healing, so it can't be removed. Um, uh, what is it? Double immune robot. Good damage. I mean, to Frostbite, I think, also. Or Cold Snap. I think he's mean to that also. Warlock's a beast. Um, crazy bleeds on his heavy. We got gods here. Black Widow Clairvoyant. She's insane. Um, crazy utility powerhouse. Havoc. 
And once again, just crazy special damage. And Mysterio, crazy poison dealer. He's immune to poison. He can, um, what is it? He can put a passive heal block, which is very valuable for a lot of stuff. Namor, which you might be surprised to not see him beyond God tier. Namor may be beyond God tier, but more and more as I play this game, I realize that a scenario where I need someone to just reflect damage is just not really needed ever anymore. And he just, without the, all the whole build up, he doesn't do that much damage. So it's like, I'd rather you just see someone like, I mean, Doom, Human Torch, Captain Marvel movie, Quake, anyone, Ghost, or Namor. So yeah, he's just in God tier for me. Um, which I know might uh, make trigger a lot of people. Sunspot, crazy damage. Special twos can do over like 500k. High demigod, Call Obsidian. Um, uh, he's not a god or beyond god tier. I don't want you angry people yelling at me that I wasn't grateful for mine. But I hate to break it to you, bro. When you get to my stage of the game, Act 6, Act 7, one parry does 50% of his HP bar. And now nah, I'm chill. I'm not going to use that. Also, Bloodstone, she can counter, um, what is it? She does pretty good damage, as you can counter evade, so that's pretty good. And then Visible Woman, you can ramp her up her damage really high, and she can tank suicides pretty easily because with her force field, so. Yup, Mr. Fantastic, um, he's a whole bunch of random utility, and he can, like, help a lot of te um, people on your team, like, with his synergies and stuff. Ronin... Um, I've seen some gameplay of him. He does pretty good damage. He can take away debuffs on himself. So, yeah, he, is pretty, he's pretty, he looks pretty good. Um, Silver Surfer, he can he has pretty good damage. He's immune to a whole bunch of different things. That, I don't know exactly what he's immune to, but I know. Is he immune to? I think. I don't know. I really don't know what he's immune to, but I know he's immune to, like, two or three things. So, yeah. Um, he has the phasing mechanic. Vision Arcus, he does pretty good damage. Shut down robots. And then we have the low demigods, the Nihilus, Diablo, Man Thing, and Mr. Sinister. And then this was the first year. There was only one trash character, Ebony Maw. And if they didn't have Ebony Maw, if they had someone better than Ebony Maw, um, there would be no complete trash. Like, I think Diablo, maybe it could be complete trash. But if you get, like, his brewing stuff right, his damage is good enough where he's not complete trash. So, yeah, Ebony Maw just hits like a noodle. But yeah, this year, once again, you have, what is it, like a 80%, this is actually a really good year for, like, all, you have like an 80% chance to get something really good from a crystal from tw 2019, last year, and yeah, that was 2019, a lot of good characters, now I go to 2020, and this year, okay, so, this is the problem with this year, so, if you notice anything, you're gonna see, not to me at least, maybe to someone else, Wait, why did I scroll down? There are no Beyond God tiers here. We are five months in, and in order to have us have more Beyond God tiers than everything else, like 2019 and 2018, these next few months, need to, they need to stop releasing trash can characters and give us something good. New Black Widow, um, I saw her at rank five. She could be high demigod or low... Uh, um, I think she's high demigod, maybe god tier. I put her in the god tier because I saw a gameplay of her at rank 5. And she hits like a truck, so... And she basically counters miss. So I'm going to put her in god tier just because I've seen her damage. And it's really good, so... Yeah, long shot is crazy damage, but you can know, there's nothing else really. So we can't really be beyond god tier. Because to be beyond god tier, you have to have like good damage, obviously. But you also need to have like good utility. You can't just be one. Um, Mojo, he's pretty insane, crazy damage, pretty decent utility, but not quite beyond God tier. Sorcerer Supreme, seen gameplay of her, she's really good with slow, um, all that stuff, so she's God tier. Squirrel Girl might be high to me, God, or God tier, but they just, the crazy bleed detonations are insane for, like, do you bleed nodes and stuff, so that's really valuable. Um, and then, and then we got a Storm Pyramid X, which, I mean... She's uh, she maybe low demigod tier. I'll give her high demigod tier just for like at rank five. Her specials do hit crazy hard. She has the whole stun thing where if her you know like take away your stun that, that she places on you, it turns to a passive stun. But like she's just I don't know. She could be considered low demigod tier, which would make twenty twenty's um chart a little bit worse. But I got Mole Man, absolute dog. He just trash. Thought he was going to be a um, skill Corvus. Turned out he wasn't. He has decent damage and some decent utility. 
So he's not complete trash. But then we got Nova and Terex. They're just so bad. They're so bad. They hit like wet noodles, dude. Oh my god. It's just... This is not a year to be going for... 2020 has been letting us down, bro. Because... The last... Like, if we go to 2018, 2019... Looks like they're learning their mistakes. Look, like, 2018... Oh, all these Beyond God tier, all these God tiers. Just the blue and green. And then even the yellow is still pretty good characters. It takes up most of the chart. Um, 2019 takes up even more. Like, 80% of the characters they made that year were pretty banger. Like, pretty good, pretty good bangers. And then this year, it's just, oh my god. It's like 66% of champions this year are, are like, at least over high demigod tier. But, like, if even if, like, 70% of them are better than low demigod tier and trash... They can't all be god tiers, bro. They need. To, we need to have some beyond god tiers, some actual good champs. There's been no champions in 2020 so far that are, like, top tier in their class or even in the debate for top tier in their class. No one debates Black Widow. The new one is the best skill. We all know she's not. No one debates a long shot Mojo, the best mystic. Um, and Sorcerer Supreme, I guess. She's also a mystic. Um, long shot Mojo, some people might think they're top mystic. They're just not. Um, we don't know Doom's better, um, and Squirrel Girl, we all know she's not the best skill either, it's like, every, like, 2019 and 2018, let's just read off the Beyond God tiers, we got Aegon, Captain America Infinity War, Corvus, Domino, Ghost, Omega Red, Symbi Supreme, Void, 2018, the arguably the most dominant year for Beyond God tiers, 2019, still has a crazy amount of bangers behind it, Captain Marvel movie, Doc Doom, Guillotine 2099, Human Torch, Nick Fury, Stealthy Spider-Man, Thing, Warlock, and then 2020, we just getting shoved with Mole Men and fucking Novas and Terexes and all these other shitters, dude. And honestly, this needs to stop. Kabam, you need to release characters this year that people actually enjoy going for because right now, 2020, it looks dry as shit. I mean, 2019, we almost made it the whole year without any complete trash cans, but we got like Diablo and Emini Maw. Uh, Devony Ma is really like, the only like completely useless one out of the list. So you know, with that logic, if the gap's getting smaller and smaller every year, like if you look, uh, if you look at 2015, it's 44%. 2016, 38, 37%, 3%, and then we're back at it with fucking 20%. So far, uh, to make up for this year, they'd have to for the next. Um, Bucky, and for the next, like, seven months of the year, they're gonna release some bangers, bro. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they could, seven months, they could release 14 bangers, bro, just to make 2020 the craziest comeback year, but I doubt they're gonna do that. They just keep shoving us with fucking dog shit characters. So, yeah, um, after making this video, I am pleased to say, um, where the boat, where most of the insane characters came from, um, we're 2018, 2019. Those are the two years where all the bangers, top of the class characters came in. Aegon, top of the skill class, in my opinion. Corvus, mm, Corvus, Captain Marvel, top of the cosmic. Um, Ghost, easily top of tech. Omega Red, top of the mutant. Um, we got Doom, top of the mystic. Uh, pretty much every character with top of the class was in these two years, except for, like, Quake. At least in 2016, she's definitely top of the science, but yeah, and arguably 2015, they gave us Colossus, so you know, that was like the one shining light. But Colossus was trash the past like five years until like they just did the buff, so um, until that Colossus buff, 2020, 2015 was bad, but yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like and subscribe. Tell me what you think down below. Do you think Kabam is gonna keep shoving us with more Mole Men and Novas, or do you think they're gonna come back 2020 strong with some crazy Beyond God tiers? Because they've done no Beyond God tiers in 2020. In my opinion, they've done zero 2020 Beyond God tiers. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.